the Trotters have reached the back stretch. And they are underway on the far outside leaving. Hurricane Big George sticks ahead out in front. Right alongside Knox Trot Hall also fighting for the early lead with Hobbo's Boy on the inside. Those three have really separated. Moving up into fourth about four lengths away from the top three there is Keystone Activator. But then have quotable inside fifth. Then comes even better odd six. At the back of the pack Shibboleth Hanover and Garcon is the early trailer. It's Hurricane Big George winning that early duel for the lead. The quarter ripped off in 28 and Three fifths on the outside. Here comes Havo's boy and Jim Worrell Jr. coming off an overnight win here at Pocono takes over the lead now on the outside. Keystone Activator also winner of Pocono the last start. The eight to five favorite going after Havo's uh, boy up front inside third. Hurricane Big George followed by Knox Trot Hall and you've got NF Quotable over a hundred thousand earned each of his first two seasons. He's moving first over there picking up that cover even better odds at the back. You've got Garstone inside and Shibboleth Hanover at the end and they're at the half in fifty eight even 29 and two second panel and keystone activator wanted to get by but could not and is now in a world of hurt there as hobo's boy pushed him back from the front and still with the trip there hurricane big george keystone activator now backing up despite mccarthy's best efforts filling in the gap inside fourth there is knox trot hall also out wide but stalling nf quotable further back to garcon and shibboleth hanover hobo's boy still holding sway at three quarters 126 and three at 28 and three third panel. It's Havo's boy trying to hold him off now. Hurricane Big George has got the guard and trip and now steps off the rail to make his move. Further back now is Knox Trot Hall third. Shibboleth Hanover up three wide. At the top of the stretch off stride goes Havo's boy. Hurricane Big George inherits the lead. Shibboleth Hanover closing on the outside also firing through his Garcon. Tiring Hurricane Big George. Shibboleth Hanover trying to get there. Shibboleth Hanover and Mike Simons up in the nick of time for the win. Hurricane Big George second, Garcon third, Shibboleth Hanover in 156 and three-fifths. Well, how about Havos Boy going on a break and then uh, taking over the lead, Hurricane Big George, but Shibboleth Hanover had a win here on September the 1st, not winners of 5,000. Mike Simons is going to come from pretty far back here in Shibboleth, Hanover. And Clarence Martin Jr., they're going to win the final consolation of the Pennsylvania Championship Finals. 2-7 right there. Mike Simons in the bike. 2-7-5 finish. Garcon was third. 156-3 for the mile. Ladies and gentlemen, judges have posted the unofficial order of finish for today's seventh race. Number two, Shibboleth Hanover finished first. Number seven, Hurricane Big George finished second. And number five, Garcon finished third, unofficially 275 in today's seventh race. Ladies and gentlemen, moving into the winner's circle at this time, the unofficial winner of today's seventh race, the two, Shibboleth Hanover. Three-year-old Bay Colt by SJ's Caviar out of SOS Firefly by Garland Mobel, bred by Hanover Shoe Farms Incorporated of Pennsylvania, owned by Maple Ridge Stable of Pennsylvania Incorporated of Honesdale, Pennsylvania, Mary Martin of Honesdale, Pennsylvania, trainer Clarence Martin, Jr., the driver Mike Simons, and Shibboleth Hanover at 5-1 to one on the board here this afternoon has had a solid season. 8 of 10 in the money coming into this one, was a winner at Pocono last time, and is able to rally in the nick of time for the victory. Fourth win of 09, fifth win lifetime. He does it today in 156 and three-fifths, the two Shibboleth Hanover.